What's up everybody, it's Matt, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that we're here today to open up a box of Wave 5, Titan Masters Attack. Yeah, uh, big, big, big props towards the coast for getting this out to us and just loving uh, this new set. Look at it. Oh, just the art on the sides are so good. Optimus's head. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what's inside here. Get right into it. All right, so we got 30 packs. Oh, the holly. Oh, that's a really nice holographic. Uh, have they always been like that? Interesting. Cool. All right, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and take the first section of them right over here and get ready to go to town. Let's put these other ones just right over here for now. And first 15 packs. I am hoping for a Grax and also for a Night Racer, a Pounce, and possibly uh, a Road Buster. So let's see what we can get. So first pack. And we have Megatron with his head Doom Shot. Awesome. Love this card. So, when you flip to this mode, it gets plus two attack until end of turn. He's a ranged leader, and when Megatron flips back to his tank leader mode, which is also ranged, uh, and you defend, and you flip an orange, you do a damage to the attacker after battle. So it's like an, a mini electro spikes. That's pretty good. And Doomshot is his head that gives him brave. It's a three star cost, and Doomshot also has brave himself. All right, we'll put the uh, the actual these packs over here for now. All right, pack number two. What do we got? We have Autobot Outback. Rad, this guy is so good, I, I love him. So he is, let's see if I actually can get a good angle this way. That's great, okay, cool. So Autobot Outback, Autobot Outback is a melee truck. When you flip to this mode, you may scrap an upgrade from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. And if your opponent will cause an upgrade to be scrapped from this character. Instead, you may scrap an upgrade of the same type from your hand. Right, so he's melee in range. Cool. All right. That's our next one. Actually, let's put our... Let's put our uncommons together for now. And our commons right here. And we also got a stratagem in there. Duty and honor. As long as one of your characters, other than Optimus Prime Legendary Warrior, has been killed. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So... If he's on his own, he gets Brave, Focus 1, Bold 1, and Tough 1. That's pretty cool for Stratagem. And we'll put these packs over here for now. And we'll check those out later. Alright, next. Pack number 3. Optimus Prime. Uh, when this attacks, repair 1 damage from one of your characters. Then if you have fewer characters on the battlefield than your opponent, repair 1 more damage from that character. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, and when you flip to this mode, draw a card. Then if you have fewer cards and your opponent, draw another card. So that's a really cool interaction. I love it. Great. And then our first rare of the box, that's Autobot Tesla. He is a specialist Titan Master with Focus 1. We'll, uh, we'll put them over here. All right. Let's actually just put all the characters together for now. And then we get our pack of cards. By the way, people have asked what I listen to usually when I'm making my videos or, or doing like uh, Sparkbound Games with Jacqueline. And we mostly listen to The Midnight or Gunship or FM84, a lot of those like retro wave bands. And oh, Night Racer! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. Me talking about retro wave and, you know, that cool 80s DeLorean kind of style. And then I pull a Night Racer. So good. All right, I'm going to sleeve this up. Sorry. <laughs> Having a nerd moment. All right. So that is, uh, that is the, f that is, oh, I'm so happy to get her. She was the one I wanted most. And let me grab a, a sleeve for just her, put her over here. Wonderful. All right. Hey, Night Racer. Hey, girl. All right, so uh, when, <laughs> while you have a face down or face up secret action, each of your character has tough one. She's only five stars, like Flame War. And... She's ranged in both modes, and while you have a face down or face up secret action, each of your characters has a bold one. So she's incredibly versatile, like incredibly versatile. I'm gonna stick her in over here because you know, 
Yeah, and we get another stratagem. This one is Outbacks. Awesome. So we're going to rematch this with this character over here. So when an up when you upgrade Autobot Outback Gunner, draw a card, then scrap a card from your hand. So that'll actually work pretty well with him. Look at that art. It's really nice. Cool. <sighs> Nerd reaction. Let's go to the next pack. Anyways, yeah, I, I love a lot of like synthwave and that 80s style of music. So yeah, and then we've got Decepticon Quake. I, I just finished a deck that uh, me and some of the guys in the Vector Sigma Patreon have all been just loving called, uh, that has a lot of really cool triggers for when Quake and his little buddies uh, get KO'd. I called mine Don't Quake in My Heart, but <laughs> there's been some other good ones. So Decepticon Quake, let's see what he does. So while this is your only character on the battlefield, he has plus two attack. He's also a Titan Master, Headmaster. So his body mode says when this or another character is KO'd, do one damage to each other character. Rad. And I guess we could look at Autobot Styler. <laughs> He's pretty useless. He's plus one health for two stars. Should have been only a one star character in my opinion. But, you know, that's why they're the designers. And I'm here opening packs, <laughs> right? <laughs> So, uh, next character we got is going to be another Quake, which we've just seen. So, we'll kindly shuffle Decepticon Quake right over here. And we've got a Flame Out, which is an uncommon. Bold 2, and he has... Oh, that's so good! I love it! I see, I'm very easily excitable. Like, a blue car goes by, and I'm like, man, that was the best car. <laughs> Alright, so, next pack. Alrighty, let's move on. And we've got another Optimus Prime. Awesome. Lots of extras for my friends that will play this. Uh, Apex. Yeah. This is such a cool... I was hoping that he was going to get Diac for a head, uh, like the Titan Masters line of toys that was released. But uh, I'm pretty cool with Apex. I like him a lot. He, he looks really cool. All right. Next pack. That beautiful Night Racer. So let's put her in the bottom over here for now. Yeah. Next is going to be Beachcomber and the Wind Charger stratagem. Oh, neat. So all out for Wind Charger. Once per game, when your Wind Charger Autobot Warrior attacks, and he's the only character on the battlefield, he gets plus three attack until the end of turn. Then you get to flip this. It's like a one use. And then Beachcomber. Oh, so much fun. So Beachcomber, he is a melee character on both sides. He's a car, and you know how much I love cars. When you flip to this alt mode, name a card and then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's the name card, draw three cards. And uh, he has focus one while he's in his bot mode. So if you're playing with someone like Major Shockwave, you could really draw quite a bit of cards. Okay. Pretty cool. Alright, next. Alright, we've got Brawn. Been looking for a Brawn. I've only pulled like Oh my god. <laughs> so Brawn, melee in both modes, he is a truck. And when this attacks an enemy that has more stars than him, and you flip battle cards, he gets pierced one until the end of the battle for each different color among the battle icons you flipped. And when this defends against an enemy that has more stars than him, and you flip battle cards, if you get plus one defense at all for each different color that you flipped. So it's a pretty cool character. I like Brawn. I think he's going to be a really good... Uh, Staple and for those decks that need to fill a five a five uh, a five star spot. Uh, we've already looked through this Optimus uh, stratagem. That's another duty and honor. All right, next pack. All right, we've got Wolfwire and the rare head Flintlock. Awesome! I needed this guy. And then so Wolfwire, he is a melee character in both modes. He's a beast. When he's in his bot mode and then this battles, instead of swapping a card from your hand. With one that you flipped the green cards after the battle, you may put one of those green cards in your hand instead. Very similar to Swoop from Wave 2's ability. And Wolfwire, while he's in his alt mode, when you flip back to this mode, you may scrap a green card from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. Great great character. I love this guy. And Flitlock, we kind of just bypassed him for a second. He is a, another Titan Master. He's melee. He has tough three. And while this rare character is in his head mode, he gives the character tough three as well. He costs four stars. 
Also, I should probably go over some of the stars of these other characters. Apex is a three-star character that gives stealth. Flame Out gives bold two and he is three. We already talked about Stellar on the rather the rest of them, so. Alright, next pack. We've got Topspin. Is this the guy with the error? Okay, so this is the guy with the error. So, um, unfortunately, I think during the first printing of these, uh, I may be mistaken if it's going to be all of them, but uh, unfortunately, Topspin doesn't have any star cost on here. So when you let you look at his card, you're not going to see a star cost for him. But he is a spaceship, a wrecker, and a specialist. And when he defends, he gets tough until the end of turn, or until battle, equal to his bold total. All right, and then when he's in his bot mode, or I should say body mode, that's, a, that's specific, he's in his body mode. When this attack, can you flip at least white, draw a card. Cool. All right, and then uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, uh, Monzo down here. And Monzo is, ooh, he's a two-star, one attack. Oh, that's not too bad at all. Three and two, that Type Master Battlefield. Oh, it's such a good feeling just when your Type Master pops up and someone doesn't expect it. It's just so cool. All right, and let's actually look up to see what his stars are, top spin stars are. I'm going to pull open the app for a second here and see. I, th I think it's nine or 11. I can't remember. It's something like that. Or maybe completely wrong. All right, and that is... Oh, wow, he's actually, he's quite a bit. Jeez. Cool. Well, they should probably fix that. All right, next. <laughs> uh, we've got Autobot, another Autobot Outback. We've already gone over him, so we'll skip him. And we've got the Sergeant Cup Stratagem, which is rare. That's awesome. Who's next? When your Sergeant Cup veteran is upgraded with a weapon and armor and a utility and he does enough attack damage to KO a defender, then you get to untap him. Oh, that is so good. It's too bad it's attached to that, <laughs> that cup, right? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it, it may be good. Who, who knows? I mean, we could try it. Also, Topson was nine stars, by the way. I forgot to mention that. All right, cool. Next pack. Well, this one wants to be difficult. Oh, there we go. Came out. All right, we got uh, Megatron and Chasm. Uh, we've already gone over what uh, Megatron does, and I believe we already pulled a Chasm, have we? We have not. So let's go ahead and take a look at Chasm. Chasm is a four-star Headmaster, or Titan Master, I should say. He gives you plus two attack, uh, four attack. Oh, four oh, health. That's actually pretty decent. So... Neat. Good for limited. Pack number 14. Autobot Gears. We haven't had this guy come up yet. So, Autobot Gears. He is a truck and a specialist. When you flip to this mode, move an upgrade from an enemy to another enemy. And when you flip to this mode, return an upgrade to an enemy owner's hand. This is a very, very useful card. I feel like this guy's going to see a lot of play. And then we've got the common uh, stratagem for bludgeon, which is the metallicado stance. When your bludgeon electric warrior attacks and you don't flip a battle card that has more than one battle icon, put one of the cards you flipped in your hand this battle. I'm not too sure of this how this is. I think bludgeon himself, just with lots of direct damage, is one of the best commons you can pull in like a limited seal pull. But we'll see how uh, the stratagem does. And then uh, pack number 15, we've got... Another Beachcomber, which we've already gone over, and another Duty and Honor. So we will kindly skip those and go to the next set. All right. Let's move all this junk right over here. I shouldn't call it junk. We're just going to slide all this very, right over here very carefully. All right. We get next. We have a Chrome Dome. All right, Chrome Dome. He's my favorite character actually from this set. I'm really excited to play with him. So his his ult ability. He's a Car and Specialist. And when this attacks, and your opponent has three or more actions in their K area, he gets plus three attack until end of turn. 
And his body mode says, when you flip to this mode, look at your opponent's hand and put an action from it into the KO area. So that means it'll get removed from the game. But it's very important to remember that Chrome Dome uh, will not work with certain cars such as Start Your Engines or Escape Route because those specify to have the character flip from that mode to their their car mode. And these guys don't have like bot modes, they have body modes. So that's super important to remember. And uh, the next other character we got is going to be Vorath, which is tough one. He's a, that's pretty good. Two attack, one health, and he is one star handy. All right. Next we have Bludgeon. So we were just talking about him. And uh, we have another Wind Charger stratagem, which we will toss over here. Bludgeon, his ability is that he has Pierce 1 and Tough 1. He is a bomb in Limited. So if you pull this guy, use him. And when an enemy takes non-attack damage, it gets a negative one defense until end of turn. So if you're going all out with a bunch of different attacks in a turn, that'll stay there for the whole turn after you've burnt that character for that amount of damage. It's really good. And then another pack. Let's go ahead and see what we got next. Also, if I if I if I mess up any of these actual rulings and stuff, just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, next, we've got. Wingspan and the stratagem for Brawn, which is resilience. When your Brawn demolition defends, he gets defense equal to the battle. Oh, that's awesome. So, he, oh, he gets plus defense until the battle equal to the attacker's bold. So that'd be kind of cool if you, if you know you were kind of going into a bold environment. I feel with wave five, everything is shifting more towards Pierce. So we'll see. And uh, Wingspan, first time for this guy. He is a beast specialist. And when you flip to this mode, draw a card. It has plus one defense for each card under him. He's eight stars. And when an upgrade is scrapped from under this, put it under him. Now the wingspan stratagem actually helps a lot with achieving this goal, but he's still a pretty fun character to play. Uh, next, we've got Sky Shadow Plane and another Doom Shot. There we go, the cha probably one of the chase rares of the set. This guy is gonna be super fun. And uh, I'll show you what he does if we actually grab another uh, uh, one of those dudes here soon. So, bold two, and when Sky Shadow dies, and you have the stratagem, he's going to combine into the plane. We'll, we'll put him to the side for if we get actually get the tank. All right, uh, next. Pretty fun box so far. Another Autobot FAC. We've already seen him, so let's toss that. And we got the Blitzwing stratagem. Cool, that's a rare. While your Blitzwing Relentless Foe is either in alt mode, he has tank or his plane traits. That's pretty cool. And uh, next character. We have got another wingspan, which we will toss politely right over here. And we have a swap head stratagem. Awesome. I want one of these. Okay, great. You. Yeah. All right, next we've got uh, kind of just blazing through the last part of it. Uh, we've got another Autobot Gears, which we will put over here because we've already talked about him. And did we get the Beachcomber stratagem yet? I don't think we did. So that's great. So the Beachcomber stratagem, that says your deck can have ex up to one extra action and one extra upgrade that are star cards for just one star. That is, that's so good. I think everything's good. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> right? Okay, next. All right. We've got Skull Smasher. Tennis. All right, so Skull Smasher, uh, he's an 11 star beast that's melee. When this is attacking an Autobot, he has Pierce 3. And when this, uh, when an enemy that has fewer stars than this becomes tapped, do a damage to it. And when an enemy that has more stars than this becomes tapped, do a damage. So he's pretty much just a raging beast. I've seen people put Ominous's head, which gives you another, another Pierce, to put his Pierce way up super high. And it's been a lot of fun. Hopefully, this guy sees some play because I really like him a lot. And uh, cool, all right, and we've got a few packs left. Let's hope we can pull maybe another super rare. Uh, we've got a Twin Twist, there is his uh, buddy. So Twin Twist is a record tank, and when you flip to this mode, it gets Pierce 3 until the turn. And when you flip to your body mode, your opponent chooses one of their cards and does one damage to it. One of their characters, sorry. and. If you flip this character at least two more times and said do one damage to each enemy, that's actually pretty neat. I like it. And then the cards over here. And then we've got, there's my boy Kreb. 
guy that I revealed. I actually I love this card. I can you, he's got one star. You can put him in so many decks. So good. All right. Next we have another Beachcomber. All right, and the Whirl Stratagem. Great. This is awesome. So it's called Pop Up Attack. And when one of your helicopters attacks and you have Autobot Roll Aerial Assault on the battlefield, plan one. Cool. Let's hope we get a couple more rares. So I think we've only pulled a couple rares so far. Let's let's do a quick review here. Just a moment. So that's another rare. There's Autobot Gears. On the wrong side. Uh, so we're definitely due for at least another rare couple more rares. We've got two so far and we've got a Night Racer. So having getting Night Racer, I'm happy just in general. So that's that's great. Uh, next, our pack is going to be Sergeant Cup. There we go. What was I talking about? Another rare. Oh, he's so good. He's a leader, a truck, a wrecker in range. He has tough one and when one of your wreckers takes one or more damage during this turn, it gets that much attack. So if you play the card one shall stand, one shall fall, or camion crash, you'll give your character that much buff equal to the damage that you do, which is pretty cool. And when you flip to this mode, you may scrap a blue card. If you do, scrap an enemy up card. That is solid. And we got our little battle cards. And our, our guy was flame out. I'm pretty sure that we've got uh, a flame out back here. Maybe we didn't, maybe we don't know. Oh, there we go. So he is bold too. And then we've got another Megatron. So let's toss him over here, but we do have a Parsec. I don't think we got a Parsec in here yet. We did not. So Parsec, uh, he is bold one, and he is a ranged character, and he is Nautica's head. She's so sassy. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and get the cards. Three packs left. I would love a two secret rare box. Uh, Jacqueline got a box that had two secret rares in it. It had Trax and Wind Charger. Uh, we've got Crankcase and the ooh the Wingspan Strategium. So when you have Wingspan data processor on the battlefield and an upgrade is scrapped from one of your characters, put that upgrade under Wingspan. Crankcase, Crankcase is right. I don't think we pulled him yet. So Crankcase says, uh, when this attacks, you have five or more cards in hand. He gets plus three attack until one turn. That's cool. So you could actually kind of just really maneuver that if you had like Wheeljack or Ratchet, a card that lets you put a card in your hand when you start the game. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty fun. And uh, the last two. Wow. All right. Last two. Decepticon Quake. Another one. We've already seen what he does, so we'll toss him. And the head we got was Monto. I'm really looking for a Grax. I haven't pulled a Grax yet. He's been super hard. All right, last pack. Hopefully this has a Grax or another super rare. Not likely, though. <laughs> so here we go. And we've got an Autobot Outback and a Villainous Spotlight and a pack. Cool. All right, so we did pretty good, I think. Let's go ahead. I'm going to pause here for just a moment while I do a little bit of sorting. All right, we're back. So cool. Uh, so I looked through what we've pulled here so far. And for rares that we've pulled as in characters, we have Night Racer. We've pulled a Sergeant Cup, Grax, and the Sky Shadow Plane. For stratagems, we've pulled Swap Heads, Master Converter, and Who's Next. And uh, I should say for stratagems, and for heads for Flintlock and Tesselor. Now onto the battle cards. So I'll put all this stuff right over here. Get rid right of the way and we got all these battle cards. Let's do it. So first one. I know everybody with OCD is going crazy right now. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so first pack of battle cards. We've got spiked bracelet, grav inhibitor, brass knuckles, supporting fire, last stand, and speed trap. Now, a lot of these cards here, you're going to see them kind of come up on and on again because there's a there's a lot of cards in the set. There's 64 cards. So any of these cards right here, I'll mostly just focus on the rares. And we'll put everything else to the side. So the rare is Speed Trap. When your opponent plays an action and it's your second action that's played this turn, scrap that action. It has no effect. Your opponent can't play actions this turn. 
it's pretty greasy. And then uh, our next uh, set of battle cards. going to be a counter espionage so uh, decoy flares disassemble scouting mission junk cannon enhanced power cell all fun cards but counter espionage is a chase rare you could say it is name an action then look down at your opponent's hand and each face down enemy secret action your opponent then scraps each card from among them with that name so good you imagine all the scenarios that happens there are so many secret actions that are in play right now you see a shockwave that has a spy master's ruse and a bunch of secret actions out oh oh sorry <laughs> so good love this card and go shield this is play this only to replace an armor on a character that has no empty armor slots if an opponent's card would cause this to be scrapped you can scrap an armor instead to keep it there so if you played a bashing shield or perhaps you have an improvised shield you just want to get out of hand to get this down you could use that wicked card also some beautiful art on improvised shield really good call for that uh precision fire sharpened talons hand-to-hand -hand combat and man magnetic dysfunction ray another chase uncommon that you'll want to probably grab if you're looking to play sky shadow Next, we've got a regenerative core. When you upgrade character attacks, move one damage counter from this to this card. And then if this card has two or more damage counters on it, scrap it. So it's a way to, you know, move your damage and get it off your character. It's pretty neat. Uh, I feel like these are the new grenade launchers of the next set if there's ever rotation. But uh, that's, this is a pretty good pack. Uh, fusion board, crystal power, power uh, decoy flares, brass knuckles, and a grab inhibitor. Yeah. Did I say inhibitor? <laughs> inhibitor. For all you, that, oh, for all you English managers. <laughs> all right, so this pack is Hold Down, Sharpen Talons, Cami and Crash, Lucky Dodge, Concealing Contrails, and Plasma Horns. I hate this card. This is such a. This is such a. My buddy Jacques plays this deck that's all white pips, and uh, it's like Mirage, Fireflight. Uh, uh, who else is in it? Uh, Taraxodon and Vanguard. I think that's everybody. And uh, it just it just constantly just redirects the damage. So I started playing these cards where that would ignore Stealth and Brave just to hose it. And then once that happened, he was just like, oh crap. <laughs> but this card, that's good for that deck. I think Jimmy from uh, the Jank, Jank Lab likes to play that deck a lot too. Uh, Spike Bracelet, Hold Down, Sharpen Talons. Enhanced Power Cell, Last Stand, and the Chase Rare Belligerence. Amazing card. I love this card. It's pretty. I feel the same way if I pulled a piece through Tyranny. Ooh, good. All right. Next pack, we have an in Hostilities. Amazing. Mission Breathing, Improvised Shield, Hit and Run, Concealing Contrarians, and Emergency Repair Patch. This is a card that I really like. But I feel like it just needs to, it just, it's, I don't know, I, I felt like it should have been repaired too. But, mm, and hostilities, and belligerence, cool. Better sign me a copy of these there, uh, Blues, Blues on Attack. <laughs> All right, next we've got uh, Master Sword, great card. Uh, play this, it's very much like the Ghost Shield, which we're going to pull back up here. So Ghost Shield and Master Sword are very much similar in a way, where they can only be played to replace an equipment that's currently on the character. Uh, an armor and a sword, or sorry, I should say a sword, a weapon for Master Sword. If an opponent's card would cause this to be scrapped from the character, you may scrap a weapon from your hand instead. I love this card, but I'm not sure if it's going to see a lot of play. I hope it does. High five, fun card. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is hilarious. Choose one of your characters when it attacks this turn. It doesn't have a weapon. It gets plus three attack. And then you scrap all the defender's weapons. It's just, it's just kind of a neat kind of card. Blade Fury is Redonk. I think it's Redonk. Especially in like Barricade <laughs> or Skywarp. One of those uh, blank pip decks. All right, next card. We've got uh, regen another Regenerative Core. I'm going to stick that with the other Regenerative Core. We've already talked about what that does. So we'll skip it and look through what else is in the pack. Spike bracelets, which do tough two for utility. Improvised shield, which I've mentioned, I love the art. Disassemble, scrap any weapon or armor, its owner draws a card. Uh, lucky dodge, you can uh, take no attack damage if you actually defend an automatic attack, but this is a star card. And tripwire, which is 
Lovely. Do one damage to an enemy, and then if it has five stars or fewer, you get to tap it. So those uh, those five wides are going to see some uh, some hurt. And then we've got another Master Sword. Awesome. We've already talked about what it does. We've pretty much seen everything else. Oh, another Crystal Power. This is another interesting card that I want to talk about, actually, Triangulator. So it has Focus 1, and when you put this on a character, you may play another Triangulator. And up to three Triangulators can fit in the utility slot. This makes me want to do shenanigans with the character Greenlight to build a deck that focuses on, like, Focus Fire, uh, Attack Drones, Triangulators, and, and uh, that Sonic Stun Gun that's out. It's too fun. Because then you can give that ability to your to your uh, to your other other, other characters. Uh, Nick from Blues on Attack had a deck that uh, I can't remember what it was called, but um, I'm pretty sure it was Traffic Lights of Death. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it played Deadlock, Cliff Jumper, and uh, Green Light, and it just was a lot of fun to play. So we'll see how that goes with that. Uh, Overrule: Reveal when your opponent plays a white action. Scrap the action; it has no effect. And then uh, Hall Matter, Sky Satellite Uplink, Kimmy Crash. Lots of cool cards. I figure that most people are coming here just to see the, the rares that are pulled. We've got Scouting Mission, which is an amazing card. Do one damage to any character like that. Its owner draws two cards. So let's say if you have to put an Energon Axe down or have to damage one of your characters, it, but then you get to draw two cards. I love it. Lock on Target, which is great for planes. One of your characters gets bold four until end of turn. Spike Bracelets, we've already gone about. Temper Quagmire. Uh, when one of your characters defends, each player can't flip more than two battle cards during the turn. It's a blank dampening uh, feel, I find. Uh, choose one of your characters. We've already gone over that. And Master of Metallicado. This is an amazing card. Now, if you're not sure what's going on here with these pips, these are specifically laced to the set. See, with a card that has this type of hybrid, or I should say clan type of pip, or tribal type of pip, it means that you have to share those traits to get that pip color but these do count as cards that are flipped. So what's that mean? Think of it as a lock. So these are locked pips. If we take a look here at Skull Smasher, if Skull Smasher flipped this card, he would get the blue symbol because he's a melee character. See the matching fist symbol? But if this card here was flipped normally like that, sure it's a blue defense card, but it counts as an orange, black, and a blue for cards that are flipped for cards like Metroplex, Grapple, and other abilities that are similar to this. Yeah, great card. Teacher Matt is out of the room now, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, next, uh, we've got another Counter Espionage, and Enhanced Power Cell, Sky Satellite Uplink, Brass Knuckles, Camion Crash, and a Handheld Blaster. I believe that's, I believe that's Skull Smasher that's holding on to that gun. If you've ever actually, ever actually seen the Skull Smasher toy, but from Titan's Return, it has some terrible, terrible pose ability. Um, I remember I got a couple of them, him and Croc. And they just pose terrible, but they're just such cool molds that I just I couldn't help myself. And I, I have a weird, uh, I have a weird love for the Titans Return set. I know it's not the best of the Power of the Primes, but I just really enjoy the characters they put out, and it's been a long time. Especially Crankcase. I would love to see a Crankcase character come out soon. Another Plasma Horns, Crystal of Power, Triangulator, uh, Grav Inhibitor, Blade Fury, and Industrial Grade Phase Charge. We've got an escape capsule, a card that I've been playing around with, I really like, but I keep wanting to put it into orange black decks, but I realize that I'm like, I only have improvised shields, grenade launcher, fusion force, everything that it's on there falls off, so what's the point? <laughs> Junk cannon. Uh, this is actually an interesting card. At first I thought that was, I wasn't sure if that was detritus or if that was hound. Uh, when you put this on, on or upgrade another character, it gets plus two attack on the turn. He is kind of beige, so it might be detritus or another character. Um, Temporal Quagmire, we've got Optimus and Megatron fighting, Blade Fury with Windblade, my girl. Uh, you've got Brawn and uh, Skull Smasher battling out on Spiked Bracelet. And uh, Cup, like, running and jumping into Megatron's chest. Just yeeting. Yeah. Alright, uh, we've got a Stonic Sun Gun. This is the card I was talking about earlier with those green pips. When you play a green card, you upgrade a character gets plus one until the turn. I love that card, but it, I know it's janky. <laughs> Triangulator, which we've talked about. This is the other one, Electro Optical Visor. When you put this on a Decepticon, your opponent reveals their hand and chooses an Autobot card from it and scraps that card. This is very, very specific. <laughs> uh, Hold the Line is probably another one card that I want to talk about. 
Uh, hold the line is when one of your characters defends, you get to repair one damage from the defender, and then they can't take more damage than the stars of the attacker. So if you're getting swung at by like a little a little uh, little guy like this for two stars, and they got a grenade launcher and supercharge on, you're only going to take two damage if that goes off. All right. Uh, next, we got another plasma horns. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> We'll just we'll just throw that pack away. <laughs> it uh, it didn't have much that was in there. It had a lucky dodge, temporal quagmire, hit and run, laser scalpel, disassemble. <laughs> oh, the plasma horns! Watch me get them all. <laughs> uh, so far, we've got sharpen talons, lock on target, emergency barricade. This one hasn't come up as much. So emergency barricade, uh, and it's like a blast shield, but it's orange. Plus three defense, pretty cool. And then we've got a paralyzo box. This card seems interesting. If you don't get a green pip, I'm just sorry, if you're not ranged, you can't actually pick it up. Then we've got a headbutt. A uh, headbutt is a card for, I believe, Titan Masters only. When one of your characters uh, is in body mode, tap an enemy that has 10 or more fewer stars in the bot mode or body mode. And uh, that's really cool. So if you are a, a Titan Master, you actually get that, uh, that symbol. Cool. I like it. We've got Magnetic Dysfunction Ray, Tripwire, Disassemble, Improvised Shield, and Spike Bracelet. Let's uh, see if we can power through these packs here. I don't think anybody wants to watch <laughs> an hour of me undoing this. <laughs> so we've got a Intrusion Countermeasure Software. If an opponent's card would cause you to scrap one or more cards from your hand, instead draw two cards. Very specific. Conversion Expertise gives you Tough 1 and Bold 1 in different modes. Last Stand, one of your characters gets plus 5 until the turn, then KO them. Cool, so there's some standout cards. I'm really happy that we didn't get a whole lot of like improvised shields in the set. So like, you know, because I feel like we we're already overwhelmed with them from the prior waves. In my first uh, couple boxes, I, I got 4 in total. <laughs> Head another, another headbutt. Yeah, it's an Electric Optical Visor, Turn the Tide. Scouting Mission, Laser Scalpel, and Industrial Grade Phase Charge. Oh. I love how they made these longer. It's supposed to make them easier to, eat, easier to open. We'll, uh, we'll give up on this pack here in a few seconds. If it doesn't, oh, there we go. Yes. All right, so. Uh, Staggering Might. Uh, this goes on a character when he becomes big. He gets bold one and tough one. Remember, you can play this on a character before they get big for it to come out later. High five, an electrical optical visor, lock on target, that bold four card. Uh, you've pretty much seen most of these cards here. And we have how many packs left? Let's 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 wrap at these ones and see what we get. Alright, so this one, we've got Spy Master's Ruse. You may play a secret action. Well that card is face down, this card and that card aren't scrapped in a turn. Super good card. Concealing controls and another high five. Grav inhibitor, brass knuckles, disassemble. Cool. Go shield, cool. Crystal power. Yeah, we've pretty much gone through all these already. Let's see what we got for the rare. Another belligerence. Oh, too good, too good, too good. And then we've got a reflect damage. Turn the tide. Cool. I'm going to pull that Fort Max out of here in a second just to open it up, take a look at it. We've got a, another headbutt. Conversion expertise. Yeah, we've seen all these cards. Hold down. Nitro Booster. Ooh. Skipping through these last ones because it's like, once you've seen so many of the same card, Sharpen Talons, Lock on Target, Emergency Barricade, Fusion Bore, Hollow Matter Projector, and a John Mace, my first one. I've been trying to get those. Hard to pull. Hard to pull. And last pack of the box. We've got a Staggering Might, another one. And then a Tripwire, a Triangulator, a Hold Down, an Improvised Shield, and a Hit and Run. So we did pretty good. Let's let's review our uh, let's review our, our, our pack pulls here. So we've got a, st a Staggering Might, an Energon Mace, a Nitro Booster, Reflect Damage, a Blizzard, 
a headbutt. I think we had a couple ghost shields. One second here, I grab them. Yeah, two ghost shields, two master swords, and then hostilities and a blood drench. We'll put those together. A spy master's ruse, another stagger and might, uh, a bunch of headbutts. And then we've got a speed trap, a counter espionage, a couple regenerative cores, a whole bunch of plasma horns, like <laughs> way more than I needed. We've got an overrule, a master of metallicato. We'll put this here. And another counter espionage, an intrusion countermeasure software. We'll stick there. An escape capsule. We'll stick here in the sonic gun, the paralyzer box. So that's what we got for rares. So that's pretty good. And uh, let's take a look at uh, Fort Max over here. Uh, here he is right here. So let's open him up. There we go. Cool. So this is what he looks like. Here's his body. Sleeve on head on him. Let's grab the body here for you. As soon as I find it. Right there. Cool. So Fort Max, he's actually a really neat character. So his ability is that when this defends and you flip at least white and blue, do one damage to the attacker. This begins with Cerebro City Commander on him in head mode. So this is going to be down right down here. So he's going to have bold one and tough one. And then when Fort Max flips, you're going to take the head and push it up. He's going to have bold one and tough one. His ability while he's in in, uh, in body mode, or I should say Titan mode, is when this attacks and you flip at least an orange and a black, do two damage to each enemy, flip this to all mode after the battle. So you get lots of cool recursion of, uh, of that here. Now, when Fortress Maximus is KO'd, you're going to flip and uh, have this guy right over here, which is called Cerebros, or sorry, Cerebros. And then the little head's going to pop up right there. He's going to have focus too. And when this battle is and you flip at least a black, white, orange, and blue, you may play an upgrade from your scrap pile. Now, when Cerebros passes away, <laughs> we'll say, you flip over and then you become Emissary. Now, what's really cool about Emissary, aside from his Focus 2 ability right over here, is that you can actually put any head that you want on, uh, on Fortress Maximus for the second part. He must have this head first, though. You cannot play without this one. But do you have any other little one down there? They have enough stars. Yeah. So that was my box. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I hope it didn't bore everybody to death. But uh, that was everything. We pulled some good stuff. We had uh, we had a bunch of rares and a super rare. We had that moment with, you know, talking about Retrowave and opening Night Racer. Oh, so good. I am so happy with this. Thanks to all the community and everyone who's opening, you know, their Wi-Fi stuff for all the support and all the great stuff you guys have been helping with this channel. I want to thank you for watching. And as always, if you want to check down in the description, I'll have a list to where you can watch... Uh, uh, or see my deck text for Fortress Maximus. Also, if you're looking for any of these singles, soon I'm sure that Top Deck TCG will have them in stock. And if you use the promo code Matterfer, you'll get 10% off your video. And again, thanks for Wizards of the Coast for releasing Wave 5. This is an amazing set. I am super pumped. Uh, check back tomorrow for another unboxing vid. Peace out.